Hey kids! In today's video, we'll be learning about symbiotic relationships. Are you ready? Let's begin! Symbiotic relationships are like partnerships between living things. These partnerships happen when two different species live close together and interact with each other. There are three main types of symbiotic relationships. Mutualism, commensalism, and parasitism. Let's begin with mutualism. In mutualism, both partners help each other and both benefit. For example, bees and flowers. Bees collect nectar from flowers to make honey. While doing this, they accidentally spread pollen, which helps flowers grow seeds. It's a win for the bees for food and a win for the flowers, reproduction. Commensalism In commensalism, one partner benefits and the other isn't helped or harmed. Example, barnacles and whales. Barnacles stick to a whale's skin. The barnacles get a free ride through the ocean which helps them find food. The whale doesn't even notice they're there. Parasitism In parasitism, one partner benefits but the other gets hurt. For example, ticks and dogs. Ticks bite into a dog's skin and drink its blood. The tick gets food, but the dog could get itchy or sick. Now here are fun facts about symbiotic relationships. Clownfish and sea anemones The clownfish gets a safe home in the anemone's tentacles, and the anemone eats scraps of the clownfish food. Bees Without bees, we wouldn't have many of the fruits and vegetables we eat. Bees help grow about one-third of the food we eat. Mind Control Some parasites like the Cordyceps fungus can control their host behavior. This fungus makes ants climb high on plants so it can spread its pores. And that is all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed learning about symbiotic relationships today. Take care now. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed the video and want to see more videos from us, please click the subscribe button. Also, give us a like. That will help us. We thank you so much and we do hope that you enjoy our videos. See you soon.